Hello and welcome back to RimWorld, my friends, and the Revel Base, where we are definitely in a good situation. We need a lot more blocks to get what we want finished, and I've made a couple of adjustments. Um, just like adding tables to rooms, we'll give them chairs as well. So we've got so much wood now, there's not really a, a cause not to use it. And people are happier when there's stuff in their room, especially if it's like crafted by any sand, the finest artisan in all of the land. Um, but for now, we're doing, we've got, we're doing well. We've got a piece of art here by uh, Cannon Fodder. Okay, marble sculpture. Ooh, so marbles obviously makes it just better because marble's just stunning. Um, Okay, picture number 47. On this sculpture is an image of Jackie teaching obedience to a wild boar as other colonists do actual work. <laughs> yeah, Jackie, fucking get a grip. Jackie is wrinkling her brown concentration. A dead herring is shown in the background. The work is shaded in hues of orange and grey. This artwork tells the story of the training of the wild boar on a fifth of fall. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Doing actual work. Come on, Jackie, pull your finger out. Okay. We've got no raids, we've got nothing pressuring us for now. We're waiting for these to... Wow, actually, they have improved since I last really looked at them. Nice. It's really starting to suck the moisture out of the air. Area, sorry, out of the ground. Oh, that one just popped. And hopefully that should reach over here. I may actually... I'm considering building one down here. I don't want it li li linked up to that network, though. Uh, I think I will do. Just because as, as, as little of this... I want as much of it gone as possible. And actually, can we have one here? It will eventually get this get rid of this. Hopefully it'll do some there. And I just want some power going up here. Along there. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Not the most important thing in the world, but if I can have this area clear of um, marsh and shit, then that'd be really handy. I may put one down there as well. But the thing is, they do take up quite a bit of power. 150 power. We are quite low as it is. That may have been a mistake. In that case, we have this steam geezer and we'll be good to go. Actually, whilst I'm thinking of it, I'm going to add um, another couple of power plants down here. Uh, no, uh, solar power. Actually, can I not have that one there? Instead, can I have it one back? Thank you. Sorry, Jessica. Um, yes, our area is almost complete for our honoured dead. Oh, that's not if I do that, it isn't. There we go. And any, you are hauling steel to power conduit. Can you? We need more limestone. Ah, uh, okay. How many have we got here? We've got eight. How many people do we have up here? Six. So we do actually. It is now is a good time to transfer across the the bodies. So let's have them all deconstructed. I will also change these floors as well, because uh, there's no point having nice floors when you've not got anybody there to. Um, to there's no reason for nice floors. You'll put concrete down. Okay, here we go. First up is Anna. Ah, oh, yes. This is going to be down, walking down memory lane. Anna, the model, the naked model, always naked. I think Anna deserves a uh, a masterwork. One. She was with us from pretty much the start. Then, of course, we got Ng Pook. I would be. I will be uh, hunted down and killed if Andrew Pook didn't also get a masterwork one. So uh, let's give him a masterwork uh, grave. Then we've got Roop. Oh god, so many good people. Where's the superior one? I know there's a superior one here. Here we go. Superior Roop, you're getting that one. Oh god, it's like pick, like choosing favourites. We've got Taika Atiko and Ignism. Oh god! Oh, the, the deaths are coming back to haunt me. Um, guys, we're running out of really great ones. I'm afraid you're going to have to accept a good. Uh, Tico and where's this one? Ignism. There we go. And then who's the final one? Of course, Star Lord. I believe there's a normal around here somewhere. There we go. He can have the normal. <laughs> There we go. Okay, hopefully we can get those guys buried away. Major rate risk. Yes, people generally are not very happy when there's con list left unburied. Um, so don't worry, just go. That'll that'll change in a second. Oh, area revealed. Oh, this the mining's being done. Yeah. Oh, there's obviously nothing left in this mountainside apart from potentially there or there, which 
I actually am going to dig out now. Um, it looks like this place is free of any useful materials, but we have got a lot of chunks of stone from it because we were kind of running out. So that's quite good, actually. Ooh, we have berries as well. And our food's actually down to 2,300. That's much less than it was. Oh, there's a lot of berry bushes I can see, but they're not maturing it yet. Okay, we'll read the art in a second. That's going to be hilarious, I hope. Okay. Uh, we want to build more of these chairs as well. Let's just see what leather do we have. We have muffalo leather. We can have a muffalo one and muffalo and beaver skin. Cool. Okay, let's do that. Bear Muffalo. Here and uh, beaver skin, I believe it was. There. That'll finish off our lovely party room. Which hopefully any Stan will be doing. Can you can you work on that? I know you're doing like the functional things, but if you can't if you can leave that, that'd be great. Okay. Look at him go. Her go. Uh, whichever. Ooh, a nice like light, light blue chair. And it is. Oh. I mean, good's good, but I would have thought you'd done better than that. Whatever, we've got a nice chair. Oh yes, we actually need to put this sculpture somewhere. So this is for Jackie. Where's Jackie's rooms? Carlo, Hayden. Jackie's right there. Yeah, let's put it in Jackie's room. Let's install that here. Uh, right below the vent. What we've got? We've got an excellent table. Definitely good. Okay, superior. Good. Superior. Superior. Poor. Get out of here. Excellent. Good. 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 Oh, beautiful. We're we missing one. We're missing one here. No, get out. And we've got a good and a masterwork. Ooh, masterwork, nice. Okay, and so we can find a bit one here. We do need to make sure that all these small tables are not gather spots, apart from obviously those. Okay, and we'll get them table uh, chairs in a second. Good. I've also put down a load of lists to make prosthetics because people are suffering. Uh, for example, Jackie has a shattered sixth rib. There's nothing I can do for the sixth ribs yet. I have to leave those. But for Cypher Duck, who has a scratch on his hand and a shattered left femur, I can definitely make him legs and a hand. You gotta think, like, it's a scar on his hand. People are like, oh, it's just a scar. This is a scar that's so bad that it actually damages his manipulation. So that's why I will be replacing that with a bionic hand. They got a flash storm. Uh, in the water. I really don't care. Thank you guys. Is there any more left to bury? No, good job, good job. Okay, when the flash storm is over, I'll read out the uh, the art. Oh, that was, that was quick. Well, I guess it is a flash storm, it's not a persistent storm. How are you, bonfire? I wait, like, there is a mod to do animal, animal prosthetics, which I would love to put in, but I get the feeling that, well, A, it's not going to be very easy to do because Alpha 16's come out and loads of mods have just been updated, but also I don't think it's that possible because the, um, I've already started this one and I don't think that mod carries over, like, it, you have to restart a new colony, I think, I'm not sure about that though. Now the one downside to having these coolers in this outside wall is that it prevents us from doing a double layer. I may have to move these to this wall here. Uh, let's check the power. They may, are meant to be running on this side. So if I can move them in, down here, that would be much more sensible. Okay, so let's do that. Let's set that up right now, actually. Okay. Um, all the bodies are buried. Yes. Actually, let's just check that by looking at any sand. Yeah, there's no unburied corpse there. So, okay. First things first, we've got... Ignism uh, in a sarcophagus crafted by Tajira. Distant lonesomeness. An engraving on the sarcophagus is shaped like Matthew Ignism Tomlinsky, doubled over and retching onto the floor with great shame. He seems to be trying to laugh despite the circumstances. A parrot in the distance seems to symbolize Armageddon. <laughs> Armageddon. And the work has a sinuous feeling and a very dynamic structure. This representation tells the story of Ignism's vomiting on 14th of winter. Beautiful. Perfect. Excellent. Next. This is made by Katrina and it's masterwork. I didn't realize you were such a good builder, Katrina. What? What? Or is it just the art stuff? Is it the art that's done by the people? By okay, I think the art is done by uh, 
people with good art and then it's whilst it's constructed by somebody else that makes sense it makes a lot of sense then because then the the builder builds the sarcophagus which is bland and just kind of it can be found masterwork sarcophagus but it's the artist that then puts on the description that makes sense that's good and i guess then the better the artist the better the more apt the art Purple Engipuk. This, of course, contains, contains Engipuk. The sarcophagus is engraved with a depiction of Stephen Engipuk Wilcox, spewing vomit onto the ground with great shame. He's nearly unconscious, his tongue lolling out, drool dripping, a snake off to one side. It seems to symbolize love, while almost every shape in the image seems to be very dynamic. The rep this representation tells a story of Engipuk vomiting on the first. I like this. This is brilliant. We're just going to have a whole graveyard full of vomiters. <laughs> Shapes you perfectly, Puck. Okay. And then we've got, this is done by Goldie. Title is Silent. Goldie! You, on Star Lord's grave, you. <laughs> you did some art and entitled it, thought, you know, fuck Star Lord. It's after me, baby! Okay, so the sarcophagus bears an image of John Goldie uh, Whitehouse capturing. Oh, capturing Star Lord as he twists in pain. Goldie is laughing as tears well up in Star Lord's eyes. A surgeon appears at the left part of the image. The impressionistic style of the central scene clashes with the amateuristic, uh, amateurish yet attractive depiction of the background. This representation tells the story of capturing of Star Lord, and that's hilarious. Uh, okay, next we've got again Goldie's silent hardship for Anna, his love at one time, I believe. I think they had a thing. I can't remember. I know it was eventually Simrex's. You have to remind me. Um, silent hardship. The sarcophagus bears a depiction of Anna promenading in, new, in the nude while others look on, enraptured. Uh, Anna is visibly aroused. How is she? I guess. Well, it is possible, yeah. A dead shark fades in off to one side and the work is shaded in hues of black and blue. This image relates to Anna walking around naked. Jesus Christ, Goldie! Talk about... <sighs> yeah, yeah, no, guys, guys, this is blatantly how she was looking. Oh, yes. Oh, I remember Anna very well, says Goldie. <sighs> okay. This is done by Katrina, who seems to be a little bit more respectful of people than, than Goldie is. Uh, for Ty Tico, sorry, and it's called Scarce Tico. The sarcophagus is engraved with an illusion of Ryan Tico Ferguson educating the Timberwolf in obedience as the other colonists do actual work. The Timberwolf appears to be morphing into a broccoli. <laughs> into a broccoli. The scene takes place inside a city built near a forest and almost every shape in the image seems to be very dynamic. This image tells the story of the training of the Timberwolf. That's, that's brilliant. And then finally, this is another one by Goldie, so of course it doesn't have Roop's name in the title. Um, and it's, wow. The sarcophagus bears a portrayal of a hill. The work suggests the concept of happiness. An author smiles near the end of the image. Weren't you enemies with Roop, Goldie? I can't remember. You, he's not on the list. Um, I don't even know. Okay, well, whatever. Well done, everybody. You've <laughs> fucking Goldie. Okay, let's get ourselves some chairs for these tables. It's only for the personal use of the colonists in those rooms, so we don't particularly need it to be anything hundred percent special. Why have I not done one for, one for here? Okay. Um, table. Oh no, that was the one that was, was poor, wasn't it? Yeah. There you go, everybody. Enjoy your lovely tables. Uh, I guess there. Okay. Awesome. And we'll just make sure that those are decent stools and or chairs. Right, it's definitely cut into our supply of wood, but we had tons. One colonist idol, Simrex, you've got nothing to do. Wandering around. Um, Simrex, you warden, you hunt. Why are you not a constructor? Oh, that's because I didn't want you constructing those those sarcophagi. Okay. I was a bit of a dick, but to be honest, it's fine now. Come on, get to work. Okay, how are we doing? We need more stone blocks. That's what I'm sensing here. Can we have somebody working on this wooden stone cutter table? Jackie, you're usually doing that. You're smelting metals from slag. Oh, let's just go. Good job, good job. Okay, we have the uh, prosthetics here, but I would kind of like to wait until we are able to get bionics. Um, where are they? Oh, do we have bionics? Did we actually finish researching bionics? Ah! We did! Excellent. 
Excellent. Now you can actually turn them into really powerful pieces of a uh, kit. That's going to be awesome. Okay, we got a good chair there. That's fine. We've got a... Uh, excellent there. Ooh, got some art on it from Jessica. The furniture is engraved with the image of Jackie practicing hall with a timber wolf as others look on. Jackie's wrinkling her brown concentration. Um, oh, I'm getting so tired of reading these now. <laughs> ah, crap. We're out of power. Probably because I put these two in. Yeah, that's not smart, was it? Um, okay, I'm actually going to deconstruct this one because the overlay, the what, the, the overall area of how much it will clear is not much different to the two of these combined. It just will miss this part at the top there. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And that one and that one means this area here won't be cleared. I don't really care about that either, so I'm going to deconstruct this one. Hopefully that should alleviate some of our power issues. I mean, we did just get two new solar generators, so I'm surprised it's gone down so quickly. Well, at least it's not <laughs> minus 18 outside. Oh, God, people are sleeping in the cold now. That's not good. Okay, are these actually being used? Nobody, nobody, nobody. Okay, can we turn off... Um, all the power oh no don't reconnect for these guys thank you and you we do not need them that will save us some electricity I believe this one's been used no no one's using this one but it is shared so I'll keep that up okay cool our power storage just go up very very quickly because we've got so many solar generators but maybe, maybe our battery stocks are not high enough. We'll have to see how full they get before, at the end of the day. Okay, cool. I installed the flat screen TV in here as well because I figure that it gives at least some people the chance to view it. Simrex, this is why I took your construction. Stop it. A good, a superior. Do me proud. A poor... You didn't do it, for Christ's sake. An excellent. More arts. Uh, Cypher Duck in the nude with no hint of shame. He's fondling a shrub. Uh, okay, good, good. <laughs> excellent. More arts. Uh, this is Simrex kissing Jessica while both are drenched in sweat. Simrex is blowing air at Jessica. Ah, the, uh, the work is executed in a heartfelt style. Aww. And that's when they became lovers. How very nice. How very sweet. Trace to love and uh, Simrex, all you kids. <laughs> right. Um, I'm very tempted just, like, to put stone floors around the, in the entirety of my base, but I don't really have the stone yet. I will do that eventually, though, I think. One colonist idle. Cypher Duck, why are you idle? Um, you don't do any sort of, re like, research or smithing or armor or any of that. But, yes, you're a cooker, a handler, and a... Well, there's food to be cooked. The bill's to do fine meals. Need materials. Ah, we're out of meat, of course. You need to... Right, you need meat to do fine meals with, so let's go hunting. I What I'd like to do once I've got an established base is I'd like to just get the hunt tool and go... Ugh, and... Oh. It would help if there were any animals around. There we go, there's two there. Timberwolf. I reckon they could take them. Hey, there we go. There's all the animals. Okay, let's get rid of that Tim Wolf. We don't want to risk it. Okay, so now people should go out and try and kill stuff, which is always useful. Got people hauling in as well. Okay. See, that's the thing. That, um, what is it? The Ibex was going to attack Tim Rex, but he's got a charge rifle, so he just kills it. That's why I don't particularly worry about the Tim Wolf, but... Better safe than sorry. Cypher, you should now have things to do. Yes, yes, you do. Good. How are you moving? You're moving quite slowly because of that left femur. I could give him the bionic leg now, but then when I wanted to change it to a... Uh, well, sorry, the, the prosthetic leg. But when I wanted to change it to a bionic, that would then... I mean, I'd have to take his leg off him again. It would be two surgeries. I'd rather not risk it. So, we have... Um, let's look. How many hands do we have? Three hands, so we want to make bionic hand, one, two, three. Uh, how many foots do we have? I think we have one foot. Scythe blades, 
hand leg. We have one leg. I believe we have an arm as well. Yeah, there's a prosthetic arm. Okay, cool. Right, so we can make a bionic arm or a power arm. There's also silent jaws, bionic jaws. We don't want those. Oh, we do want eyes. A couple of people and ears, actually. Uh, who is it? It's... Is it Tico? No, no, Tico's dead, of course. <laughs> Hearing loss. So Jackie needs two ears. Hey, Katrina's artificial nose was put on with no problem. People like her again. She's not disfigured. Hey. We have one eye on Ace and two eyes on Cannon Fodder. And then some lungs when we eventually get them. Okay, so we want three bionic eyes. And, oh, did I mean to do the eye there? No, I meant to do the arm, didn't I? Well, oh, yeah, it's power arm or bionic arm. So the power arm takes a... You have to get a power claw first and then a, and a bionic arm. So I have to make a, a bionic arm to begin with. And this unparalleled strength and dexterity with retractable claws. This is the ultimate arm upgrade. If I can get that for somebody, that'd be amazing. The So that's a power arm. I need, to buy, I need a power claw first. How do I get a power claw? I can't get a power claw yet, so I'm going to have to leave that and I'll just get the bionic arm to begin with. Maybe though. Who would it go to? Who's missing the arm? Somebody had a dodgy arm. Oh, well, Katrina has unless oh, the left hand shot off. Somebody just had a crappy arm. Right, hands. Oh, it was Cannon Fodder. Who's not exactly our main lead DPS anyway, so no, I will not be making a power arm. When we like maybe I will though, for one of our really high melee characters. I believe we have Jackie's a melee character. I mean I could give her a Jackie! Do you want, if we can eventually get to it, a power arm? Let me know, because that'd be quite cool. Right. That's all going okay. Minor break risks three. Anything really... Oh. You just literally have no buffs or debuffs whatsoever. And that, apparently that causes you to pretty much break. I... Okay. Uh, Karen Fodder and Hayden. Wearing Tathed Apparel. Yes. Jealous. Someone else is more impressive at the bedroom than me. Ah, oh, Hayden, I didn't realise you were jealous. Ah, oh, shit. Who's at the best bedroom? Let's have a look at this. 2.6, 3, 2.2, 2.9, 4. That 4 has got to be the best, surely. 5.1. Ah, uh, well, you see, that's Jackie's room, and she's been given a sculpture made for her. When you do something for the community, maybe you'll get one. Greedy bastard. Where is where is Hayden actually sleeping? Um, yeah, you're sleeping in a room which is only 1.9. But there's nothing I can do about it. Sorry, I'm not giving you Jackie's room. Flat out refusing, Hayden. You're going to have to just live with it. Major break risk. Hayden. No, 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 no. I don't care how crappy you feel. You're not getting her room. And why did you eat without a table? There are... Hundreds of tables in this place. Let's check the rest of the chairs. Excellent, excellent. Got some more art. Anything good? Simrex, welcoming Patty Panzer. Who is Patty Panzer? She changed into somebody. Um, Cy five Cypher Duck promenading without any clothes on. I guess. Oh, that's the original one I read before. Or is it there two now? With yeah, there's there's two about Cypher Duck walking around naked. Well, I hope you're happy with that duck. Uh, <laughs> Poor chair, get out of here. Okay, and oh, we need one there. I was getting as well. Okay, and out of the armchair is good. Nice. It's important to make sure you've got the best stuff for your peoples. Okay, the power seems to be okay now that I've taken those two off. These things just guzzle so much electricity. Ooh. Okay, we have a raid. The shotgun men have appeared, and in it, Goldie's son? No. Goldie is the son of Lolly. So if we can, we need to take Lolly alive, but the chances are they're going to die like dogs. No offence, Goldie. That's just how our colony works, really. Are they, oh, I didn't see if they were taking their time or not. No, it looks like they're coming straight for us. 
Uh, okay, well there's an open entrance there, so I mean, it would be nice if they just came in that way. Where are you going? Um, Tajira, you are not a fighter, and I think... Oh, is there somebody else who wasn't a fighter? I'm not sure, I can't remember. Everyone make your way up there. Hopefully they come for the obvious, obvious entrance over here. They should do, if logic has its way. Or if I had my way, I guess. Cannon fodder, get out of there, you. Got our, th our melee at the back. Well, it looks like they're just going to attack the walls and try and enter from that direction. Which is irritating, because they, they literally can come through here, and it's an open entrance into our base from this direction. There's no reason why they wouldn't come through there. Oh, I need to make these walls thicker. We're not... Yeah, he's just going to destroy that, isn't he? Maybe they're sappers and I didn't read that. Um, okay, everyone, pull back over here. It's a shame, because I really want to use my defences, but people, people will do what they want to do, I guess. Interesting. How did the door survive longer than the wall? Oh, the fact he's going into that room. He's like, I'm cold. Let me into the steam room. Who are you? You're a Molotover. Using Molotovs on one door. Let's see. That's going to be frustrating. Can we get a few of our Malees um, over there, please? Okay, what you've done is you set a fire in the room you're in. Which isn't the smartest thing to do. Cannon fodder is going to beat the fire out. Good. Shit. He's going to get hurt, isn't he? To be honest, he's kind of made a wall against us. We can't go and engage on him because we can get a set of flames. So I'm going to have to leave him to burn that wall down. Which is not the best. Uh, can we unassign animals, please? I did give people animals because it's actually... You're more likely to get a bond if you have an animal following around someone around to begin with. Animals, can you, can you clear off now? Thank you. Minor break risk too. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, can I am going to have to draft you and just leave you there. Okay. Everyone line up. And go there. Go there. The second he opens that door, I want you to unleash hell. In fact, he's going to take ages to open that door. Just go kill him. <laughs> I believe they're yeah they're through up top. Okay. <sighs> they never do too easy, do they? Oh, fine. Yeah, you just burn the room out, why don't you? Oh, it's just that fight happening. Let's just go. He should take down Wolf very very easily. He's protected from gunfire by the, with his shield. Yeah, he's be fine. Okay, and please walk back in. Open fire. Lolly is going to get taken down. There's not much I can do about that. Good work, Hannah, though, on getting in there and doing, dealing with them. Sorry, whoever's... Who was it? It was... That was Goldie. Where are you, Goldie? How you doing? You haven't yet felt the death of your... Oh, is he not dead? Oh, it's Darker. Oh, there's Lolly. Yeah, now you're going to be pissed off. Yeah, I mean, you did shoot her. <laughs> I was just saying. But yes, yes, you, yes, yeah, that did happen. I'm not going to risk... When they've got a superior charge rifle, I'm not risking any of our guys. Get him. Get him, team. And you guys just go up around here. So you may think that the double thick walls didn't really do anything there, but it slowed them down so much that I was able to prepare over here when it was clear they weren't going to go over there. A, because they were sappers, or B, because it was just because of the snow and the marsh, it was just too long, to, too far a distance to go. It just enabled us to get over here and have plenty of time setting up. Hi. They're fleeing, good stuff. And Jaheem, you're off the hook. Let's just go. You're off the hook. And can you guys please kill Hannibal? And kill him. 
Can kill this one. Don't let him get away. Come on. Come on. Oh no. Yay! What do we get for that? An awful charge rifle! Woo! We killed them all. Gutted them. Well, we actually didn't kill them all because there's a few of them alive. But let's unforbid and rebuild. It's, it's, a, it's a damn shame that this is now an open gap in our walls, but it's going to have to be how, how it is for a while because we don't have any granite. Doors. I don't want that one now. Right, okay. Can we, Jackie? Well, let's have a look. Who have we got? We've got Riley. Do we want Riley? Unable to do skilled label or hauling. Abrasive. Ah, uh, that. No, let's. Okay, look. Just kill him to death. Uh, we've got Hannibal. Bit better. Melee social. Um, very neurotic. Ah. Uh, the mental break threshold's just too irritating. I do not like it. Get him to death. Who else we got? We've got uh, Eller. Who can't social, but is steadfast, which I like. Um, and has animals, mining, construction, melee. I'm definitely interested in... Uh, oh, I need to change one of these to a prisoner bed. Uh, this one can do. Anyone else? Doesn't look like it. Good job, team. We didn't lose anybody. And we're all fine. Whee! Let's speed things up. Thank you. And unforbid. Everyone will kind of carry on doing what they're doing, get healed up, and then we'll eventually bring those things in. I will uh, restrict. Where's the forbid section? Forbid selection. I'm going to forbid these for now and all this because I would rather them build the actual walls that have been destroyed first. As long as we have the blocks to do that, that is. Which, we have four. Mm, it's not great. Let's look at you. Then 74% recruit chance. That's fantastic. We're, we're going to go for it. Anything above 90, I'm always a little bit cautious about because it takes so long and you feed them so much food and power things, etc, etc. But that should be okay. So your joy should not necessarily be going down because you've got TV there. I'm not sure how that works. Well, you're actually sleeping, so that makes no difference. Uh, oh my god, there's no heater in this room. Right. That, yes, okay. <laughs> Temperature is a thing. I will put a cooler in here just because it eventually will be needed, but yeah, that was a bit dumb. Uh, these are set to, set to be 24. And then I can remove these at my leisure. For now, I'm just going to turn them off. We're wasting power. Okay. Good. Married on way! Jessica has accepted Simrex's proposal. Oh, you guys. Just don't die, Jessica, because that'll be his second fiance that's got killed. And no one will want that. Okay, thank you, Goldie. You're doing the uh, the dirty work. You're very good at. At least there's no graves for him to prematurely bury them in now. Okay, oh, we need one of those here as well. Mental break hiding room, Goldie. Yeah, no, that's fine, mate. That's fine. Mental break sad wanderer. She's go. Okay, sure. Lacks bionic body part. Oh, come on. We're, you're literally making bionics. He's just looking at these bionics he's making and going, why are they not for me? <laughs> uh, okay. Fine. Don't worry. We'll all be, it'll all be good. It'll all be good. Right. After the defense of that, successful defense of that raid, even if it was a bit you know, cack-handed. We are going to call it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one where we try and console Goldie heavily about him shooting his own mother to death. Uh, and uh, we kind of finish the repairs on the wall and get Bionics up and done. Um, so thank you for watching. I'll see you then. Bye! <laughs>